Hello and welcome to Monet Cafe. I'm artist Susan Jenkins. I'm glad you're here with me today where I'm literally going to paint what's in front of me, which happened to be my coffee cup. This is part of a painting challenge in my Patreon group where we're painting for 12 days. It's called 12 Days of Healing. So I'm going to give you the sped up version um, and the full version is on my Patreon page, but I still want to share this with you guys in Monet Cafe. If you wanted to become a patron to see the full version, it's only $5 a month and you can cancel at any time. But first, let me give you a little backstory to this coffee cup. I got the mug when I was visiting my mom during her radiation treatments for her cancer battle and praise the Lord she is cancer free now, still having some challenges from the radiation, but I took a trip with my mom after one of her treatments to an art gallery and a natural history museum with my niece and my mom. We had a great time and uh, I, there were some amazing things that we saw and yes, we have big mouths like a shark, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun and we all bought these beautiful artistic mugs that were made by another artist. They're all unique, but all three of us bought these mugs. And now I can think about my mom every time I have a cup of coffee in the morning. Okay, let's get started with this lesson. Even though this uh, video I'm making here will be a more sped up version for Monet Cafe, I still wanted to give you some information as to the supplies that I used. I'm using my typical drawing method here. I, I usually don't like to do a grid system, but I do make little marks. You may see the little third. I do it, sometimes I do it in quarters, sometimes I do it in thirds. So I just made marks where uh, thirds are on each side and I can visually um, gauge where things are uh, from that. And when you are doing things such as a coffee cup or anything with perspective like buildings or you know those types of objects rather than a tree or leaves and things like that, you definitely want to make sure you get things correct proportionately. Um, for example, you see me correcting a lot here. I know I want to get the um, the basic shape and drawing of this correct. Now I can correct some when I go to do the pastels and I do, um, but it's really a good idea when doing a subject matter like this to go ahead and get some things right. Um, you'll see me kind of correct things as I go along. That's just a pastel pencil by the way. And what I am working on is Sennelier Le Carte pastel card. This is a pastel surface that I love. Um, it is, it comes in pads as you see the picture here. I really, I've all, only bought them in pads. I never buy the individual sheets because I love this paper so much. And uh, it's very coarse and to me it lends itself more towards that impressionistic style and uh, it helps just to keep things loose and painterly. That's how I feel anyway. Um, and that's one really Plus, big plus about this paper. One thing that's maybe a negative about this paper is that it does not take water like some of the other sanded pastel papers. They, like UART, you can add water. Pastel matte, you can add water. If, whether you want to do a water undercolor painting or a gouache undercolor painting or acrylic, you know, you, uh, you have that versatility or flexibility, whereas with this, you don't. Um, so, um, Basically, you're going to see uh, after the drawing, I'm going to explain really quickly uh, the pastels that you're going to see with this, which are the, there they are, um, it is the Terry Ludwig Umber Shades and Shadows set. Um, I thought they had some nice neutral colors in it for this coffee mug. I did add one dark down there at the bottom left. That's a Terry Ludwig dark. It's in the Intense Dark set. I didn't want to go so dark like some of the darks in my painting. The other one is a purple, because the mug had some purple in it, from a Terry Ludwig set uh, that's the Maggie Price set. And this is a teal. I knew the cup had some teal in, in it. This ended up being too light. I had to get some more teals, but that is a Diane Townsend pastel. So I will be showing you as, even though I'm speeding this up, uh, I'm not going to speed it up so fast, but I'll be holding up any additional pastels I add. I do add some additional purples and I add some additional teals. I needed some darker values. So I usually work by getting backgrounds in first with something like this. I just feel like it grounds the object, uh, getting my shadows and my values in correctly. 
Um, and again, constantly tweaking, making sure I have the proportions right of this. All right, guys. So again, if you want to see the full version, I talk a lot in that version, <laughs> but um, hopefully giving a lot of valuable instruction um, about this type of a lesson. But uh, you guys enjoy. Uh, I do, again, always say you can learn a whole lot just by watching somebody paint. So enjoy this lesson. Um, I'm happy to still be bringing you these lessons right now. My Patreon income is one of my only incomes because of, you know, what's going on with the coronavirus. And uh, I'm happy to see that um, my patrons are growing, you know, and I, I appreciate your support, those who are supporting me. And I also know that right now some people finding themselves with more free time and maybe they have more time to actually uh, um, get on Patreon, whether it's to me or any other artist and learn a little bit more about painting. So, all right, guys, enjoy this lesson be blessed, pr stay safe, and uh, I will be happy when all of this is over for our world and for all of us. All right, guys, stay to the end. It really helps. Subscribe, like this video, feel free to share, and happy painting.
So here I'm just adding some of the little highlights right there on the little uh, edge of where the coffee meets the cup and also on the handle. And I really enjoyed painting this. Plus I thought about how symbolic it is for Monet Cafe because it's literally what I thought about this group from the beginning. It's just getting together with friends to create art. So I hope you guys are blessed. Be safe. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out more videos and come back often. All right guys, happy painting.